Hello, my name is Hunter and this is a virtual little library for staying connected, created by Dr. Tasia Gonzalez and myself. Our library is a collection of picture books read aloud by community members that we would like to share with you. These read alouds are a way for us all to stay connected while also supporting our children while they are unable to attend school. The books and community members we've chosen show the diversity of our schools and communities. We would like to thank our readers and their guests for participating, as well as the Midwest and Plains Equity Center for supporting the project. We hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Mila Gonzalez, and I'm a senior at Mountain View High School. And here reading the book with me today is Miss Schroeder and Lisa and her daughter, Layla. Hello, I'm Danielle Schroeder, and uh, I'm a teacher. At I'm Lizette Escalante and I'm an elementary school librarian. I'm Leila Escalante and I'm a third grader. Today we'll be reading Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transforms a Neighborhood by Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. In the heart of a great city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and, read, and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall, hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held up his fingers in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Then just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam, pow, the shadow scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you, Mira asks. I'm an artist, he said, a muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, Mira, she told him. He handed Mira a brush, then come on. Mira dipped in the loudest color she saw. Wow, we. The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color punch and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm salsa merengue pipa. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party until Until the policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush, and the music started again. Do 
teachers and papas jumped in. Babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Colors spread throughout the street. So did Joy. Whenever Mira and the man went, Art followed like the string like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine. And everyone danced. Together they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with millions of colors, everybody sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in a big sweeping motion. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. <clears throat> and that's the end of the story. Now my question is to everybody, what does art mean to you? And for me, art is a way to express myself and and it can also tell a story. I remember growing up in Phoenix. I walked down the street and I had to move to Wisconsin and it was a pretty gray state and the city I lived in was pretty gray. It's not, it was nothing like I nothing like what it was in Phoenix, of course. Um, you didn't just see murals as you walked down the street. And finally, when I came back to Arizona, I was able to take my senior photos in front of a mural, and it just brought me back to where I was. So yeah, so now you guys can answer. Um, for me, public art uh, displays the, um, the culture of the different communities. And uh, being from New York, um, in one neighborhood, you'd have um, art that displayed like the culture of the people there and it might have like certain colors that um, evoke people's homeland and how they feel about food and and music and things but then if you go to a different neighborhood you see like different kinds of public art and moving to Tucson like right now in the last 20 years there's been a big movement for public art and murals here and it's been wonderful to see how the art um, both reflects the culture of the community but also like helps us all to feel more pride i really enjoyed the story just like the main character mira my daughter layla loves to doodle paint color and draw art inspires her because even when she makes a mistake she can turn it into something beautiful and for me i've always had a pre an appreciation for art i love all the colors and all the different interpretations I enjoy seeing how a blank piece of paper can be turned into something spectacular. I love how art brings people together, brings joy, and even when given the same project, at the end, our final pieces have our own special touches. All right, now we're going to start with a little art lesson. Um, so if you're at home, grab a piece of paper and pencil, and we'll be drawing stuff from the cover of the book. And first, we'll start with the flower. Um, so if you guys are ready, pencil. And we're going to start off by drawing a circle. Just draw, uh, what's it called? A quarter size circle. <laughs> um, I have my big piece of paper. It's my little circle. And now we're gonna draw, like a sun, you're gonna draw the, the lines like a sun. Not too big, 
just to make it stand out. And then now we're just going to connect each line with a little loop like that. And just continue on. And if you want, you can add more lines into it. To make more petals if you want. And once you're done and you have the center, we're gonna add just a stem. Just draw a line down. If you want to make it thicker, you can add another line with it. And then we're gonna add the leaves. Um, you can just continue with a half circle with the leaves like that or if you want you can make it a little fancier with a little point at the end <laughs> and then once you're done you can show it if you want a little comfortable very nice <laughs> yeah. and if you want you can go in with color it's up to you guys Did you finish your flower? Is that? Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> That's very cute. And now we're going to start with the sun. We're going to start with the bigger circle. Um, nice round circle like this and we're going to start on the outside with the spikes so then just draw triangles along the outside of the circle like this until you get all the way around and then so once you got all the way around we're going to start with the face, and we're going to start with the eyes. So just draw two circles where you think the eyes should be. Just like this. And then for the nose, we have the upside down triangle. And then... And then we're going to have the smile. You can make it as big as you want. And then just connect it with another line. Like this. And then the little cheeks are another circles at the end. And then if you want, you can add the eyebrows. Which is just all eyebrows. I'm going in with yellows and oranges. And then whenever we're ready, you can show we have. <laughs> Very cute. And if you're watching this video, I encourage you to draw these pictures and fill them with color. And if you want, you can just post them up around your neighborhood to spread some joy for others. And mine. all for watching i hope you enjoyed the little lesson and the, um and thank you for Ms. shorter and lisa and layla for joining the call